Hey everybody. So Microsoft has been on a mission. They've been on a mission to make it nearly impossible to set up Windows 11 without having to A, connect to the internet, and B, set up Windows with a Microsoft account instead of a local account. And the thing I can't seem to figure out is what are they thinking? Well, I know what they're thinking. They want to have you connected to the cloud so that way they can track your every move and just track every bit of thing you do on your computer. But it's, they seem to have forgotten the whole purpose or a big reason to have a local account on Windows. They seem to remember it back in 2021 when Windows 11 came out because the first build of Windows 11, 21H2, they were only pulling this crap on the home release of Windows 11 Pro. You could easily click the I don't have internet button to skip the whole internet connectivity bull crap and Microsoft account mess. But in Windows 11 Home, even then, you could actually use the command prompt from the setup wizard to get around that. And I have a video on that. Okay, everybody, this little edit I'm putting into this video. So, the reason why I'm making this video rant is, well, of course, I am frustrated with Microsoft trying to force you to use a Microsoft account just to set up Windows 11. But the thing is, they're looking to get rid of all the workarounds to get around setting up a Microsoft account. They're trying to force it upon anybody and everybody who is setting up Windows. And... Apparently they have forgotten that there is a legit reason for having the local account option, which I'll cover later in this video. But yeah, it looks like Microsoft, in future updates for Windows 11, they're going to get rid of all of the options, the common options we know today, like the command hack I'm going to talk about, or um, using Rufus to set up the installer to bypass the requirements. They're looking to get rid of all of that, at least from researching. Yeah, not happy about that. So again, it brings me back to the question, like, why? Why did they do this on not just Windows 11 Home, but now Windows 11 Pro? I think it was 22H2 or 23H2 that they made the switch to pulling this on Home and Pro. Now... Back in the earlier builds, when they were doing this with Home and Pro, you could still get around it with the command hack. But still, it's like, it's so frustrating as a technician, when I get a computer in for service, and I'm reinstalling Windows on that computer, or I am either building a new PC, or I am refurbishing a computer to sell to somebody else, I do not want to have to sign in with a Microsoft account just to set up that computer to sell to someone else or if I'm working on someone else's computer I do not want to sign in with my credentials just to finish setting up their computer now thankfully there are still workarounds to get around the whole Microsoft account thing um, probably one of the easiest ones for a computer technician is you can use Rufus to set up the installer to bypass the internet connectivity requirement and the Microsoft account requirement thing you can get around that um, also, if you have Windows 10, you can in place upgrade to Windows 11 without being forced to set up with a Microsoft account. And of course, yeah, they'll beg you to do it, but they won't force you to do it. But yeah, it's 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 like why, why? And also with the whole internet connectivity requirement, it's funny. Back in the old build of Windows 11, for example, 21H2 on the Windows 11 Home build, um, I actually have a video on this. Back then, if you were setting up Windows 11 on a system and, let's say, out of the box, Windows 11 lacked the necessary network drivers to get you online, you would basically be staring at a dead end. You would have a screen that would just say, like, basically no network connections, but you couldn't get past that screen because, uh, well, yeah, they were trying to force you to step in to connect to the Internet, but you didn't have an Internet connection, so you were just stuck there. In later builds, they added a... Uh, add drivers button it's like why get it together Microsoft I get it for like the past decade plus you've been trying to 
convert your desktop operating system into a tablet OS or into a smartphone OS that behaves like a smartphone OS that tries to force you to connect to, let's say, your Google or Apple account, whether you have a Android phone or an iPhone. Yeah, they're trying to be like a freaking smartphone. They forgot that there are needs for the local account, and that should always be an option to set up Windows with a local account. And you should not force the requirement to, to connect to internet just to get to your desktop, for goodness sakes. I mean, there are situations where you either A, are missing the proper drivers, B, do not have internet service at your location, or C, you just do not want to connect to the internet right away. It's like, for real. And another thing is when, let's say you are connected to the internet and you proceed through setup, you know what Windows does first thing? It wants to download and install Windows updates in the setup OOBE screen or out of box experience. You have no idea what it's downloading. You have no idea what it's doing. Perhaps it could be downloading a bad Windows update that has been known to cause problems, or it could be force updating your computer's drivers with ones that are not properly working with your system. There's no telling what it's doing. It's like, what is so hard about just getting to the desktop first thing, and then later, if you want to connect a Microsoft account, or later connect to the internet, or later download Windows updates. It's like, seriously, what is the deal, Microsoft? Seriously. I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it. I mean, I get why they're doing it, but they're, they're so they're so obsessed with the whole idea of tracking your every move, tracking every bit of data you have with a Microsoft account. They're so obsessed with pushing Microsoft services that they totally forgot the whole purpose or the legit needs to have the local account option there or the legit needs to not connect to the internet right away. <laughs> Seriously, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. But yeah, that's my little rant tonight about the whole Windows 11 Microsoft account being forced ordeal with Windows 11 25 H2. So anyways, what do you think? Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.